This is a 95 Toyota 4Runner with a 3VZ V6 engine in it. Today I was going to talk about the rear uh, exhaust crossover whenever you're replacing the head gaskets. Basically the way that I uh, remove the heads is I go ahead and unbolt everything as one unit. So I leave the exhaust manifolds and the rear crossover attached and I pull the heads off. You're just going to have to wiggle it back and forth and eventually it, they'll, they'll come off. Um, once I add them off the vehicle, then I'll go ahead and disassemble um, everything. Once I get the heads back from the machine shop, I'll go ahead and attach the exhaust manifolds on the table um, and torque them down the factory specs. You want know, to kind of be careful with the uh, exhaust manifold um, bolts because they will uh, snap off pretty easily, the studs will. Um, once I get them, the uh, exhaust manifolds on there, I'll go ahead and put the driver's side head on. Um, I'll just spit it on and hand tighten the, the bolts, the head bolts. After that, I'll go ahead and take the uh, crossover pipe and slide it in through the back and I'll put a nut on it over here to keep it, keep it still. After I do that, I'll put the passenger side on. Um, again, just hand tighten the nuts on here, uh, or the head bolts, and then make sure it's lined up back here with the uh, exhaust collector on this side. Now once I've um, gotten that done, then I'll go ahead and torque down the heads to the factory specs, and then once they're torqued down, then I'll go ahead and tighten up the uh, six bolts on the collectors, and I believe that the uh, collectors on both sides is a uh, 14 millimeter. Um, if you have any other questions, uh, just send me a message or, or comment on the video, and I'll try to get you an answer as soon as possible. Uh, other than that, uh, thanks for watching my video.